Our most humblest of apologies. The webcam had a minor malfunction for the first half of the episode. Hello everybody, welcome back to Aura Gaming. I am doing something very different today. I have picked up a game called Mount and Blade. Saw it on Steam. Nice little discount attached to it. And one of the things that I really want to do with this channel is explore new, different, exotic, unheard of games that really never get a chance to shine. Essentially looking for that diamond in the rough, if you will. And I figured, what the hell, let's give it a try. I might clock hours on this game. I might clock this own one episode that we're doing right here. Either way, I want to give it a shot. So, I have no idea what to expect. This is the first time I've booted up the game ever. So let's just hop into the options and see what we can find. Music down low, that's fine. Sound up high, sensitivity, who cares? Disable mouse access. I only have one friend that ever plays with the inverse axis, and he's very hoity toity about it. Considers it the professional way for people to play from back in the old days of video games. Average is a good bit. Combat speed normal. Everything's set to very easy, it seems. I have a feeling that I'm going to get my ass handed to battle size. What does that do? I mean, let's put it at what the game considers to be halfway. At, oddly enough, 63! Blah 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 blah. Cool. Tutorial. Fuck the tutorial. Let's start a new game! Welcome, adventurer, to Mountain Blade. Before you can start playing the game, you must create a character. To begin, select your character's gender. Now, typically, when I start a new game, I have two characters that I'll play. I'll either play the male version of myself or a special female character that I cooked up with. Hello, Mr. Dice. Odds female, evens male. Eight evens male will play myself, because that's always fun. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was an impoverished noble, a traveling merchant, a veteran warrior, a hunter, a step nomad, a thief. Or go back. I like the level of customization. This this has promise. This could mean something cool. Uh, screw nobles, no fun. Warriors, no fun. Nomad might be interesting. Thief, hard to say. Don't know what kind of game it is. I'm going with either Hunter, Nomad, or Thief. Let's try a Hunter. You were the son of a family who lived off the woods, doing whatever they needed to make ends meet. Hunting, woodcutting, making arrows. So far right up my alley. Even a spot of poaching whenever things got tight. Winter was never a good time for you and your family, as the cold took the animals and people alike. But you always lived to see another dawn. Though your brothers and sisters might not be so fortunate. We have become an only child. Through life's harsh substances. You start to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... A page at the Nobleman's Court. Makes no sense with my background. A craftsman's apprentice. A little bit more appealing. Shop assistants. A street urchin. Now if I was playing my female character, very possibly. A steppe child. All right, I admit, I have no idea what that word means. I'm going to go find out. A large area of flat land, essentially, is the translation. Cool. Um, craftsman shop, craftsman shop, craftsman shop, craftsman shop. Making shit? Learning the system of barter and trade. If I was a woodsman, the son of a people who lived in the forest, hunted, did everything that they did on their own, made their own tools, found their own food, made their own clothes. I feel as though it would make more sense to be a craftsman than it would to be somebody who's in the system of trade. So I'm gonna be a craftsman's apprentice. As a boy, growing out of childhood, you apprenticed with a local craftsman to learn a trade. After years of hard work and study under your new master, he promoted you to journeyman and employed you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wish to stay. Then, as a young adult, life changed, as it always does. You became a squire. Er, a troubadour. Meh. 
A university student. A good peddler. A smith. Well, that just makes sense. A game puncture. Well, that just makes sense too. I think I'm gonna go with smith. You take raw materials that have nothing through hard work, dedication, skill, and talent. You transform them into something cool. Kind of like the whole principle of what I got going on here with Aura Gaming. So we're gonna be a smith. Through the distinction felt sudden to you. Somewhere along the way, you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. You pursued a career as a smith, crafting items of function and beauty out of simple metals. As time wore on you, became a master of your trade, and fine work started to fetch fine price. With food in your belly and logs on your fire, you could take pride in your work and your growing reputation. But soon, everything changed, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... The dice and the DM. Personal revenge! Lame. The loss of a loved one. Stereotypical. Wanderlust. Now that's appealing. Being forced out of your home. Why? Lust for- no, no. Wanderlust. Wanderlust. Definitely going wanderlust. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. You're not even sure when your home became a prison. It was hitting a little too close to home. When the family became, when the familiar became mundane. But your dreams of wandering have taken over your life, whether you yearn for some faraway place or merely for the open road and the freedom to travel. You could no longer bear to stay in the same place. You simply went and never looked back. Cool! Become an adventurer and ride to Calridia. 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 Cool. What will this game's saving policy be? Uh, that one! This is really starting to turn into a game of Dungeons and Dragons. I am liking this so far. We'll just actually know. Oh, I can only add. Let's look over the health, experience, next level. Oh, this is so D&D. Alright, I'm gonna take a moment to learn everything here. Okay. This is quite impressive, actually. I don't know how well the game is going to execute the use of these, but there is so much here. You can really customize the look of your character. You got your four main basic attributes. Um, strength, pretty straightforward. It involves your physical power, ability to throw hit points and whatnot. Uh, agility can be kind of like dexterity, bow and arrow skills, uh, weapon masters, horse riding, looting, all that kind of stuff. Intelligence, brain power, and I'm a little sad that mine is so low because I quite like intelligence being able to do all of that nitty gritty stuff outside of the battlefield. And charisma is always useful altogether. But I find charisma to always be that kind of hit and miss one. If there are situations that call for it, awesome. But if the game primarily focuses on combat, and charisma tends to take a back seat. So I don't know, but I really like the concept of this. I think, I feel, if I'm going to be playing this character kind of like how I would like to do something myself, I'm going to be focusing on archery as my primary skill. Because when I like to take on my opponents, I like to look them square in the eyes. Through a sniper scope from two mountains over that away. <laughs> but I like the concept of archery. And there's also a lot of stuff here that relates to leadership. And I think it would be quite entertaining to be able to take up some leadership stuff as well. The three main points is I want to have my own personal skills. Be a fairly powerful general on the horse. Well, having the leadership skills to amass an army and people behind my banner and lead them, not necessarily into combat, but towards our end goal. While at the same time, having the ability to craft some of my own stuff, like th there's some stuff in here, uh, engineering, the ability to make siege weapons and whatnot, mixing in with the ability to train and actual leadership itself. I think that would be a great combination. Five. Cool. We have ourselves a character. Hello, my character. Probably made a shite ton of mistakes, but that's okay. Adjust your face. This is starting to feel like a very advanced Skyrim. Or any Bethesda game for that matter. There's just so much. All right, skin. Cool. I tunnel vision. 
करते हैं It's me, right? Not really, but hey, you get the idea. This is really cool so far. I'm enjoying the level of customization in this. The companies that made this game, so far, so good. I was expecting so much less than this when I jumped into it, and this has been pleasantly surprising so far. I might be in for more of a treat than I thought. Let us move on. You have arrived, a Calradrian. Cal, 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 Calradia, 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 Calradia. You have arrived at Calradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms, battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers are willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory, or whatever the hell it is I'm looking for. In this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you will leave your past behind and start a new life. Now, on a rise above a distant training field, you feel that you hold the key of your destiny in your hands. Free to choose as you will, and that whatever the course you take, great adventures await you. Continue if you plow, Jesus criminies. Um... What just happened? Okay, you want me to go to the training field. I have got myself an overworld map here. Um, you said training field. Now, do I want to go to the training field? I mean, to camp, port. I have renown. I have honor. Party morale, party size limit. Uh, resume travels, quests. I have jack all when it comes to quests. I mean, I'm going to be simple and straightforward and go straight to the training field. Hi. Wow. Oh, this is going to be an adventure of a game. Good day to you, lad. You look like another adventurer who has come to try his chaps in the land. Well, trust my word, you won't be able to survive long here unless you know how to fight yourself out of a tight spot. Oh, God, I have to voice myself. <sighs> <clears throat> Thank you for your advice. This place looks like a training field. Maybe I can learn about fighting here. Indeed you can. I am a veteran soldier. Fought a good deal in the war in my time, but these days I try young novices in the area. I can find you some opportunities to practice with if you'd like. Or if you have any questions about the theory of combat, feel free to ask me. Well, seeing as I have no idea what I'm doing, we should talk. Tell me about defending myself, please. I don't know all the theory. Let's talk about something else. I am ready. For some practice. You ready? Yes, I am. Here we go. Good luck. Okay, we are we are training. That is a jump button. I am blocking. Ah! How do I how do I change direction? Oh god! Ow! Fuck you! Ah! How do I swing back? Ah! What am I doing? I want it. There we go. Oh, I'm on the ground. Dang. Ha! Looks like you've developed a bit of a lift there. Don't worry, every loses value. Provide you learn from them. Check the stars out of your eyes. I get back in there. There's no other way to work. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Here we go. Okay, then. How do you... How do I... How do I change that? Like, like... Uh... I wanna... I wanna... I don't want to swing that way. I want to swing another way. Because all he's going to do is block me. I know one fucking swing. Ow, fuck. I want to hit him. I want to hit him. Ah, he keeps hitting me. This is, oh my God, I suck at this. What am I doing wrong? Ah. Please tell me how to play the game right, Mr. Trainer Man. So apparently my mouse is what is going to control the direction of my- OW! Wait, but how does that- Wait, what? How is the mouse supposed to control when the mouse is what wiggles my camera? That's going to be so, so- Oh, that- Oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, subtle motions. Subtle motions. Ow. Ow, stop it. I'm going to die in another hit. Yay! I killed him! I killed him! 
him. I just popped him on the head and now he's down. I want to fight and it almost killed me. That was a good fight. Wait, what? What? Oh, cool. I can build up relationships with people. Your next opponent will be a novice fighter. You need to win two more fights in a row to advance. Yes, I am ready. I am not ready, but oh god, I have a shield. Defend! Attack! Defend! Attack! Overhead! Oh god, he hit me first! Attack! Defend! Attack! Gotcha! Fucking bitch! Go down! I am the master! Nobody can beat me now! Good fight, your next opponent! I am ready to do this! Oh shit, now you have a shield. How do I break the shield? Oh, that's how. I'll just you know, get behind you. Ah! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! <laughs> Is there a teabag button? <laughs> I mean... That's pretty cool. The concept of just twitching your mouse slightly in one way to determine which direction you're attacking is a neat concept. I don't think I'm ready for this. Okay. Oh god, I'm not ready! I am definitely not ready! Ow! Ah. He just one shot! Okay, this is... this is... Ah! Ah. Fuck! Hey. Hit out my face! Uh, you fuck, I'm, I don't, just a minute, I'm not ready for this anymore. <laughs> ha! I am going to beat you. <laughs> ah! And by beat you, I mean you're going to hit me on the face and I am going to fall down, go boom. Boomity boom boom, yeah, yeah, I'm just getting stubborn. I just want to beat this guy. Wait, can I control that mid block? Nope! No, I cannot! And... Reamed! Okay, tab, I'm done. You approach a training field where you can practice martial arts. What kind of training do you want to do? Speak with the trainer. Ranged weapon practice. Bows and arrows. That's my thing. Let's start with 10 yards. Stay behind the line on the ground and shoot the targets. Try not to waste any shots. Um... Prep time, fire the arrow. Prep time, fire the arrow. Prep time, pers oh, wait, what? Oh, there's a magic point. Breathe, pull, aim, fi- Say so what? Pull, aim, fire. There it goes. That didn't work last time. Well, this is fairly straightforward. Oh God, I have to account for gravity. You're in true experience. Yay. Boots and arrows. Okay. Um, 70 yards. We have gone from 10 yards to 70 yards. 70 yards. Thank you. Stay behind the line. And, oh my god. How do you see that? Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Well, I can't even see where they're going. Fire. Fire? Nope, nope. This requires a lot of angling. Hi ho, parabola way! I can't even see my arrows. I hit something. Wow, that's that's nice. Horseback practice. Okay, um, uh, one-handed weapon. Oh, I should have done bow. As many targets as you can. You have two and a half minutes to clear the track. Ah! Holy frick bananas! Oh, this is gonna take some adjusting. Okay, okay, we're starting to get the hang of this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, oh god, where am I? Oh god, where am I going? Oh, sweet zombie Jesus. Swing faster! Ah! Hit it on, ah, okay, horsey, into pole. Get away from pole, move around the pole. No, not that way, let's let's go that way. That, let's, hi, ha, ho, ho, ho. Horsey jump, horsey, oh, right. Um, shit, I have the jump button. Wait, I can't jump with the horse. Swing faster, you dinkus, I am totally hitting those. What? Oh, I call bull tweet. Hit him, hit him. Ah! I'm so slow! I am so painfully slow! Ah! 
And I'm getting better. We're getting better. This is good. Okay. Oh, oh, that was just, oh, oh well, let's, let's keep going. We, we only have limited time, limited time. Keep going. Get, get, get it. Get, oh, get it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Not the way I want to swing, but it worked out that way. Yep, good boy, good boy. Swing, swing over there. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Fuck. Fucking. Fucking.